This is West Haven. And today we're gonna to take you guys on a full tour of the neighborhood. We're gonna answer all of your questions, pros and cons, amenities, proximity, what is West Haven? All about this master plan community right now. So we're gonna start off right here in the car, like we're your agents, we're touring you around the neighborhood. Uh, you're in the back seat, and uh, we wanna give you a little overview of West Haven. So Brandon, start us off, tell us what even is West Haven and where are we located? Yeah, so West Haven is a master plan community. And when we say master plan community, that means you have literally everything that you possibly need inside your neighborhood. Now West Haven is located West Franklin. So you're in Williamson County, but you're on the west side of Williamson County and Franklin. And you're about 10 to 15 minutes to Cool Springs, 15 minutes to Interstate, and you're about 45 minutes to downtown Nashville, 30 minutes to Brentwood area. What are your pros? Yeah, so pros, like I touched on, you have everything that you can think of that you would need right out your front door. So you've got your grocery store, your restaurants. The only reason why you'd go outside of West Haven is to do your big box store shopping you know, go to the mall, things like that. That's only 15 minutes away. But you have all the essentials here and, you know, even non-essentials. And that's all here in West Haven. So I think that's a huge pro on my list. I would say on my list, the amenities, that the resort style amenities that you have outside of that, uh, the stores and retails and all that stuff. Um, you have an amazing clubhouse, you know, Olympic size swimming pools. You have tennis courts, pickleball. Uh, you even have a golf course right here in the neighborhood. Yep, now the golf course is um, it's a private golf course, but the West Haven Golf Course. It is separate entry fee, so you don't just buy a house in here and become part of the golf course. But yeah, th that's a huge pro is the amenities here in West yeah. Haven. And something I actually want to touch on is that sidewalks. Like, that's a big thing. Yep. Like, a lot of people moving here, like, where are the sidewalks? If you look at any other neighborhood outside of, like, master plan communities like this, you don't find many neighborhoods with, you know, sidewalks. You have sidewalks, you have walking trails. You have all of that right here in West Haven. And it's tree-lined sidewalks. I mean, we're looking at a sidewalk right now, double-sided tree-lined sidewalks. This plant, this community has been going on since the early 2000s, so 20 plus years into this community's development. So you have mature trees throughout, sidewalks throughout. We just are passing the elementary school, Williamson County um, Elementary School. So a lot of people walk their kids to school or they drive them on the golf cart. You'll see a ton of golf carts driving through West Haven, and it really goes to what we always talk about is West Haven is essentially your resort. Yeah, and I will say the last pro is probably cons. Yeah. Are we on cons? Not We're cons. Pros. Yeah, pros. pro okay. is great investment. It's a great investment here, appreciation wise. Yeah, twofold, right? You have the demand of people that want to be in this community, access to all the amenities and the retail, um, and everything that comes with being inside of West Haven, but you also have you know, it's not just a bombarded amount of multiple builders, multiple new construction homes always available. They phase in their new construction homes that are available. So there's only a few available for purchase at a time. And that continues to allow for steady home price growth inside of West Haven. Now for the bad news, cons. What's your, I would say my first con is that you're 15 minutes away to the interstate. That's yeah, a like con the cool, for me. Like the, yeah, the yeah. heart of Cool Springs. Yeah, to, to go yeah. to the interstate, you have to drive through, you know, drive through the neighborhood. You have to drive through Cool Springs, um, and that you know. So if you're commuting to work, that's a that's a con. I would say my first con would be if you want a yard, you're not going to get that here. There's condos, townhomes, single-family homes, but the largest lot you're going to have is a third of an acre. That's going to be your largest single-family homes. You know, five thousand plus square feet. And there's obviously not gonna be much of a yard when you have 5,000 square feet on that. Yeah. This could be a pro or a con, but HOA. So you do have HOAs here. I like an HOA because it keeps everything clean. The grounds here are immaculate. So, you know, HOA can be a pro or a con. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the HOA does get pricey depending on, you know, it ranges depending on, you know, what, if you're in a condo or a townhome or a single family home. But they do a great job all year round. The grounds are pristine. Um, and you really just can't beat it. I don't know. I don't know of a better HOA that has that does what they do here in West yeah. Haven. Now, I would say my last con would be home prices here in West Haven. If you compare, a, you know, another Franklin, Tennessee home right outside the West Haven neighborhood, your price per square foot is going to be higher here in West Haven. 
And that's purely because you're not just purchasing a home, you're purchasing access into this community. And the majority of people, they do understand that um, because they're not purchasing a home because of its specific style here in West Haven. I mean, some people may be, but it's mainly because you want the amenities, you want the retail and the access to everything that comes with West Haven. So that is a con. The home price is harder to get in here. You know, the lowest price that you can find for a home in here, it's gonna be a condo or townhome. It's gonna be in the 700K range and it can easily get up to that 4 million plus range pretty quickly. So right on our right over here, you have Kroger, which is a grocery store. Uh, it's a southern chain, so if you're coming from like California, New York, Kroger may be new to you, but you can get all your groceries there, fresh produce, right here. Your Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, that's going to be in Cool Springs, 15 minutes away. 15 minutes away. We're looking directly at a lake. You've got a lake. There's a lot of fishing, kayaking. Um, we've got your wine and spirits. You've got Oscar's Taco Shop, your gyms, another restaurant, salon. It's all here in the yeah, town you center. A, you even have a post office over post here. Post office. Everything need, I'm telling you, everything. everything. You're into you're into a uh, bar, you got Pure Bar right here, Scout's Pub. Have you ever been, had that pizza place right here, Brandon? I haven't. I haven't had I've heard it's place. good though. And so as you're driving through this little main street here, you'll see uh, like the condos up here. So you have condos, yeah, and, and it leads you to some more retail that you have here. So you got a clinic here, um, you have a pet hospital, um, your dentist, banks. I mean, I mean, there's even smaller boutique shops like Valentine House, um, you know, all lined here as well. So what I want to point out is with West Haven's town center, it's really thought out because they don't just allow you to lease an office space. It has to be approved as well. They're not going to allow duplicate types of businesses inside the town center. It's all planned out, master plan community. I mean, there's Edward Jones Investments over there and your bank. So it's like. Everything that you could, you could need would be right here. You could definitely be self-sufficient inside of West Haven here. So that's just a little intro. Now we're gonna get out and we're gonna show you uh, the different types of homes that you could buy. And um, let's get to it. All right guys, so I wanted to get out of the car and show you around. It's a beautiful fall day here in Franklin, Tennessee. And I just wanted to, to walk the neighborhood with you. I want to walk the neighborhood. I want to show you just what it feels like here. I want to show you what the different homes you can buy here, how close they are, and everything in between. So I pulled off to the side here because I wanted to show you how beautiful the grounds are. That was one of the pros or cons was having an HOA. But what I love about an HOA is that you can drive through your neighborhood and you have this beautiful scenery. This is one of many little parks that you have here and it's just gorgeous i mean you can come out here uh you can come out here and read you can come out here and just walk your dog meditate do yoga um whatever your heart desires and it's just is really really beautiful so one of the things the great things about having an hoa is that all of this is taken care of you don't have to worry about it you got this beautiful fountain behind us and like i said there are multiple spots throughout west haven that has you know different little parks and recreational areas where you can hang out. We're gonna walk across the street and I'm gonna show you kind of how close the homes are. So let's get to it. All right, so I wanted to start here. Uh, the homes to my right, I'm gonna show you how, first of all, how close the lots are, but these are some of the bigger homes in the community. These homes that I'm looking at here are anywhere from four bedrooms to six bedrooms, um, you know, 4,500 square feet to 6,000 square feet. So these are some pretty massive homes. And I'd say they're probably priced around um, a million eight to like 2.5 million, uh, just kind of, but they're really gorgeous. One of the things that Brandon pointed out is that, yeah, these homes are close, but they all have a different style to them. So you have like brick here, you have some stone here. They actually painted this house up here, uh, painted the brick white. So you have, every home is, it just looks different. And you obviously can see the mature trees and I love the community feel like all of the homes they put out there, Halloween decoration and stuff like that. So if you look here, hopefully you can see it. It's a little gate separating. So you, I mean, you probably have anywhere from uh, 15 to 20 feet in between the houses here. You do have condos in this development. You have townhomes. These are single families. Some of the single families are attached. And so there are, there are different kinds, um, different kinds of homes that you'll see here. 
So I just realized something. As I continue to spend more time in West Haven, I fall more and more in love with this place. But right behind me is what we call uh, zero lot line. So these homes are physically connected. Like you share a wall with your neighbor. And so you have one, two, three, four, five, six homes right here. We call them townhouse condos that are in this one building right here. So each of these homes are anywhere from three to four bedrooms, anywhere from 2,100 to like 2,700 square feet, depending on where you are. The, the bigger townhouse condos are on the corners. So if you have a corner unit, notoriously it's much bigger than the rest. You do share a wall. HOA usually takes care of the exterior, the roof, so you don't have to worry about all of that stuff. And then right across the street here, we have single family homes. Now you can see a little bit more spaced out. You're probably sitting on like a quarter acre, uh, a third acre, but that's the difference here. So you do have single family homes. You have these townhouse condos that are connected. Um, you have some townhouse condos that are not connected. And so you get that variety here. So actually a little fun fact, one of our clients was actually looking to purchase this house right here. Needed a little bit of work on the inside. Some of these homes were built like early 2000s, but this yard here is like amazing. You have an amazing little backyard here. And this is what I'm talking about with um, the townhomes that are on the corner. You have a much bigger space. So you have a little bit more outdoor space, which is always a plus. All right, so now we are in the back of the development. As you can see, you can tell by the trees. That's one thing about a development. You can tell when it's newer or when it's older, literally by the maturity of the trees. So these, you can tell, I mean, these homes were probably built eight to 10 years ago. Pretty nice sized trees. But um, as we, you know, get closer to the back of the development, you have more space. These are mostly all single family homes. Like you can see across here, that's actually a little weird lot right there. It's kind of pushed back a lot, but you do have, uh, that's a single family house on that lot. And then you can see you actually have a little yard space. So if you can just see right between here, um, like I said, you're probably about 15, 20, 25 feet apart. The houses, you got a little yard back there. The great thing about this house is that, or these houses that line this row is that nothing's gonna be built on the back. So it just feels a lot bigger. Here you can see the corner lodge. You have a little yard that's fenced in here. But I just want you to just see this is all about how much space you have um, in between your yard. Again, you can tell we're in the newer part, the trees here. These are a lot smaller. Uh, Brandon's in the car shooting drone. You wanna talk a little bit about uh, the last phase and it is development? Yeah, so last, well, it's not the last phase. Well, yeah, it's not the last phase, but it's one of the last. The one that's going on right now, so the one of the last phases that's going on right now is Southern Land. That's where we're about to take you, right? Yeah. Um, and that's Southern Land Builder. There's a few other builders, Ford, Legends, um, and a few others, but those are in a different phase. This whole phase up here, it's kind of the south east side of West Haven. That's going to be all Southern Land, smaller homes that range, you know, anywhere from like three bedrooms all the way up to like six bedrooms. Um, so single families. There's also a 55 plus community that they're working on right now. They've just broke ground recently and that's closer to the town center in West Haven. All right. All right, so welcome to one of the last phases of West Haven. As you can see, the trees are tiny. They're not mature, right? This is all new construction here. And if you remember, we actually shot a video, I think, walking down this street in one of our last West Haven videos, just to show you the new construction of this phase, actually. And none of these homes were even completed. So I just kind of want to show you, these are all single family homes. You can kind of see the space here in between the homes. And the homes here are ranging anywhere from three to four bedrooms, five bedrooms, six bedrooms, actually, anywhere from 2,100 square, square feet to 5,000 plus square feet. These homes right here, they have a lot of character, by the way. I think these sold for like 1.2, 1.3. And then on this side, these are a little smaller. Uh, these homes right here, this we actually just closed on this one right here for just under a million dollars. I think it's like nine or fifty thousand dollars, nine or sixty thousand dollars. As you can see, most of these right here are three, four bedrooms. The corners, I think, are four bedroom homes. One of the pros we talked about was the market here, right? They bought this property as an investment property. We just rented it out for 6,200 bucks a month. 
and I think this is a 2200, 2300 square foot house. So you do the math on that one. You don't get rental rates like that anywhere else, but you can do it right here in West Haven. That's why it's such a great investment. Everybody wants to buy into the community. And then over here, you have the estate sized homes. So these are your four or five, six bedroom homes, 4,000 plus square feet. Most of these homes over here are built by Southern Land Company. It's one of the builders in the development. And I want to take you into this house. Brandon's in here. He's been waiting on us, so. Finally made it here. Yeah. So this is one of the houses that we just closed on. Yep. This is the Aiden floor plan. So this is going to be three beds, three bathrooms, and a half bath. 2,300 square feet, 23, a little over 2,300 square feet. And as you can see, you walk right in and you come through your living room, right into your kitchen. And you'll notice this is a complete this is a perfect, I'm so glad we're making this video right now because this shows you exactly what you're gonna get finished product when you buy new construction here in West Yeah, Haven. it's good. Yep, so all finishes. We actually did the blue tape walkthrough in this one and there was very minimal things that need to be changed, but immediately the next day it was all fixed. I mean, this house is like spotless. Yeah, I mean, pretty spacious. Mm -hmm. Fireplace, you've got plenty of cabinet space. Remember, this is like the smallest floor plan in this section. Three beds, three and a half baths. So um, everything else is gonna be at least four bedrooms. You got your gas range, and then it actually leads you right into laundry room area. And before we get in, get over to the primary, this is kind of your yard that you're gonna get. Remember we talked about small lots. Well, this is your grass right here. So what we'll typically see around here is you'll see maybe a little fire pit action, you know, a couple chairs, I've seen people put some ha hammocks, but this is your courtyard space. Yeah, so. I mean, this is pretty good space. What You're not you sharing say? this with this one, yeah. so they have theirs on the other side. This is all yours. All yours, irrigation. Um, How many feet do you think this is right here? Can you go put your hands out, like <coughs> spread your hands out, touch the wall? So I've yeah, got about probably an eight about foot wingspan. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> probably about 10 feet, eight to 10 feet. Yeah, like through all the way to here. Yeah. Yeah, and then this is your two car garage. So it's gonna have alley access to your garage back there. And if you come on in, I like how they did shiplap right here. You could probably put a little bench, um, hangers, you put your coats right there, that'd be nice. Half bath, and then you've got your primary suite right after there's the laundry room over there. And then you've got your primary suite. Now, the only thing I'm going to caveat here, what we're looking at, these mirrors are not gonna be here. So that is one thing, you need to bring your own mirrors. Yeah. BYOM. Bring your own mirrors. So, tile all the way to the ceiling. So you'll, you'll notice lots of great finishes. I mean, it looks really nice. Yeah, two more bedrooms upstairs. A bonus room as well. Just kinda wanted to show you guys. Um, oh, and I wanna reiterate, this is, a 2300, 2373 square feet, I think is the exact number. This is the Aiden floor plans built by Southern Land. You can get these right now for just under a million, like a few hundred dollars under a million. And I was telling them we just rented this thing out for 6,300 bucks or 6,200 yes. a month. 6,250 a month. Um, so you're, that's looking at around two, 264 a square foot. That's what you're renting this thing out for. So that is killer that you can't get that anywhere else in Williamson County. So if you're looking to move, I think this is a perfect thing to talk about with our clients that moved, are going to move here from Illinois. They wanna be in the market, right? They wanna be a part of the middle Tennessee market, the demand that's coming here, but they still live in Illinois. They gotta finish up business for a couple more years. And they decided, hey, let's just get boots on the ground. Let's buy something so we have a piece of middle Tennessee and rent it out. And I mean, the investment is killer. Okay guys, to finish this out, we're outside of the house I just took you through, and we hope that this video gave you a good idea of everything that you get here in West Haven, in this master plan community, all the amenities, all the retail, the different uh, living opportunities that you have here, the new construction that's available. Um, and if we didn't cover something that you have a question about, just leave it in the comments. And if you think that West Haven may have checked some of your boxes and you're looking to potentially move to the Middle Tennessee area, just reach out to us. We help clients from all across the country relocate here and find their home here. So if you're looking to move next week or in the next six months, just reach out to us. Our contact information is below. Once again, I'm Brandon Johns with Coleman Johns Group. Thanks so much for watching the video.